Hello, welcome to my channel, welcome back to my channel. I am doing a collab video with Rachel M. And if you are subscribed to me, you're probably subscribed to her. She does very similar videos. She does a lot of makeup, a lot of subscription box unboxings, and she's awesome. You should check her out for sure. And she's gonna be doing a video that is a lot like this one. At first, when we talked, we were going to do a top five favorite YouTubers video. And this was a hard video to think about. The more and more thought I put into to it, I realized I don't have a top five and then I thought well I will just pick five of my favorites so this is turned into a five of my favorite youtubers video and I'm going to give an honorable mention to Tati I love Tati but if you're subscribed to me you're certainly subscribed to Tati if you like hers I don't actually I shouldn't assume that everyone likes her I adore her I watch her the most of any other youtuber I would say but I'm gonna name five other youtubers and then I thought what angle am I gonna take with picking these because there are different youtubers I like for different reasons right we all like different youtubers for different reasons and so I decided to kind of dig into my YouTube past I only just started catching on to YouTube and what a community YouTube provided about two years ago two and a half years ago when I, I had gained some weight I had come out of a really hard time in my life and I was still working on myself and I had gained some weight and I started watching a lot of weight loss videos and, and just exercise videos and inspiration videos and I started to watch this YouTuber. So number one, the first YouTuber I started to watch a lot of and just really look forward to seeing new videos from her was Ashley Nocera. Now she is a little itty bitty spunky fitness enthusiast. She's a New Yorker. When I needed that extra inspiration or just needed my mood lifted I could watch her and she she does mostly vlogs like fitness vlogging and she just she just really helped me feel uplifted. I actually don't really watch her so much anymore because I've just evolved in what I am interested in with YouTube. But I watched her a lot in those beginning days and then I started to realize, oh, there are other YouTubers out there that I can explore and get into. She was, at first, she was all I needed. I would just go online and I would pick one of her videos and I would watch and I would be inspired by her energy and and positivity. So that brings me to the second YouTuber that I started watching really early on was Alexandra's Girly Talk and she does a lot of videos where she just kind of stages herself and she kind of poses, she shows you clothing hacks, things you can do to increase your femininity, and which is something that I really want to do. I love my femininity, I embrace my femininity, I consider myself a very feminine person, and she definitely speaks to that part of me that wants to be that way. I remember when I was a little girl, I would always want to be a lady. That was what I would say. I wanted to be a lady and I would, I remember I would grow my nails out and I would hate when my dad would cut, cut my nails and I had little girl nails that were dirty and scraggly and broken but I wanted them to be long and ladylike so they were far from it but I would see my mother's fingernails and I just, I always just wanted to be a lady. Anyway, I, I'm don't know where that came from. That's a memory that just came out and <laughs> I started expressing while I'm talking about this YouTuber, Alexandra's Girly Talk. So she's fantastic. She did a podcast-like video recently where the screen was just black and it was super relatable. And she was apologizing to her viewers saying, I'm sorry if I've been a little bit absent. She hadn't posted in maybe a month. And, and she said she had gone through the deepest, darkest depression she ever had. And, and I don't ever want someone else to suffer, but knowing that that other people suffer, especially ones that I look up to like that, made me feel more connected to her re watching that recently and that we all have our ups and downs, even these people who look perfect on the internet. And then the third YouTuber that I started watching early on was Brittany Vesser. Her name, her channel name is Brittany Vesser now, but she used to be called Vesser Beauty. And so she used to do a lot more like try on and girly hack videos for your appearance and whatnot, but she's definitely steered into organizational hacks and cleaning hacks, which is awesome. But with that, I stopped watching her quite as much as I used to. Her channel name, she changed it just to Brittany Vesser. It's more Appropriate because she's not doing so much beauty stuff anymore and so I really I watched her she might have been the first channel where I ever clicked the bell 
I think that I think she's the first channel I clicked the bell on so she's another one and then I the next one is this or that now she is a smaller channel she just passed the 10,000 subscriber mark I noticed so congratulations to her she is so practical and I discovered her when I started discovering subscription boxes and she had such a practical organized she's another organized one <laughs> practical organized layout to her videos when she would present about why she liked FabFitFun and she had the system where she would talk about a satisfaction rating for each box and she would give it a satisfaction rating about how many of the products that she liked to use. She would say, so I liked 7 out of 10 of these products, so this has a 70% satisfaction rating. She's darling. Her delivery is just so practical. I wonder if she's a teacher in, in real life. I think her real name is Maggie. And then the last one is Glam and Gore. Now this is a little interesting because she She's like an FX artist. I'd be really surprised if Hollywood hasn't picked her up yet and she hasn't worked with them in some capacity. She may ha very well have. She's excellent. And she was, I discovered her kind of when I started getting into makeup and when I started discovering what an art form makeup is, that it's not just something that we do that we think we need because we're th we think we're ugly. That's kind of how I used to see makeup and I, I didn't like that. But my view of makeup started to shift recently and I'm so grateful for it. And makeup really is an art form and it's something that helps boost our self-esteem, but it's also just really fun to play with it. And I am so happy that I finally saw it with, with these new eyes and I am I'm just thrilled. Anyway, so I discovered her and she does awesome things like she'll turn herself into a Disney princess and then she'll turn herself into a Disney princess zombie. So she goes the extra mile with FX makeup. She will, she will use uh, prosthetics, prosthetics, that's not the right word. She will use um, molds for her face, like she turned herself into the Grinch in one video. Yeah, so she's really awesome too. She puts a lot of effort into her videos. It's like watching an episode or something. They're half an hour long and you just watch her turn herself into the devil or something and she's fantastic. So those are my five. Those are the five YouTubers that I picked for this video and I, like I said, I went with the YouTubers that I discovered early on. I have since discovered so many that I could put into this video and it was really, really difficult to pick and choose. I wanted to also give some shout outs to some smaller YouTubers that are like me that I've been watching recently that I, if you haven't discovered them, I hope that you do soon and that you will go check out their channels. They're wonderful people and I will link a bunch of them below. I don't want to start naming them right now because I don't want to forget anyone. I love you all so much. I hope that you have been able to discover some new amazing channels through this video. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. I hope you have a wonderful day. Love you. Bye.